Welcome back guys, today we have a infinitely seamlessly scrolling text tutorial. So let's get straight into it. We're going to start a new composition and we're going to have it red just so we can see the text better. Click OK. Now we're going to fit this. And we're going to go up to our text. Turn off the transparency grid. And we're going to type in click three times on the text and then control our home. That's going to center the anchor point. So now we can align the layer vertically and horizontally. Now we have our text. Let's add a banner. Make sure you do not have this text layer selected and you click Q or you can click this the rectangle tool up at the so let's go back keep missing it all right now we're going to draw a rectangle around the text draw this about the size of the text and control alt home center the anchor point once again and align this horizontally then vertically we're going to pull the shape layer underneath the text. So now we have our background banner and we have our text. We need to add some movement. So we're going to make this come in from the left to the right. So let's go ahead and click P for position. And we want to drag it all the way over to this side. So to make that easier, we'll just align this left and we'll just drag it for the rest of the way to make it much easier. You wanna leave a little space because later on in the tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make different text pop up each time. So let's go ahead and keyframe that and we'll move it to about five seconds. And let's move the position all the way to the right. Let's click V, make sure we have our select tool or you can go up to the top and we're gonna align this to the right and we're gonna drag it and we're gonna leave some space once again. That'll give you an extra few keyframes to change the text. So let's see how it looks. So it's not cycling, but as you can see, we have our movement. If you want this to move faster, you can move it closer to the first keyframe. If you want it to move slower, you move it further apart. So we'll undo both of those, Control Z. And now we're gonna add our expression to make this loop. So you wanna hold Alt and click on the stopwatch. And you want to type in loop and you want to double click on loop out and in between these parentheses you want to type quotation mark and then you'll see cycle pop up double click on cycle and now we have our loop so every time it goes off screen it'll come right back So we have our loop. Now I'm gonna show you how we can make the text change each time. So let's play this. And about there, we wanna change the text. So let's go ahead and click the drop down arrow for our text layer. Text and stopwatch for source text. And you want to page down to go over one frame. And let's go over one more frame, two frames. And let's double click on the text and let's change the text to 
something else. As you can see, it's changed now. So let's play that. Anubis to Sage, then Sage Arts. All right, so now you know how to change the text. Let's delete those keyframes. And I'm gonna show you what to do if you have a banner of any sort. So we'll change, we'll control Z, go back to our normal. So let's say if you had a text that came across the entire screen. So let's just put something here. First of all, if you have a different text, you must change the anchor point for it and the position keyframes each time. So let's go to our beginning and with the text selected, control alt home and you wanna change the position. Once again, so we'll play that. And you wanna make sure you change this one too because it will cut off in the end, so. So now we have our, we have it going across and it seems we control Z one too many times. So we'll add our expression back, loop out, quotation mark, cycle. And once again, we have another cycle. So this takes up a good amount of space. So if you wanted something else to come with it, control D, duplicate. And all you would have to do is stagger them. So as you can see, All right, so if you wanna fix this, the space in between the two, as you can see, that big space right there, what you have to do is stagger this to where it comes in once, so I'll show you. Once this gets about the middle, that's when you want this one to start coming in. So you have an even amount of space in between the two. See, there you go. Now the space is just about even. If you want to, you can move it a little closer. And you just have to adjust it to depending on what kind of text you have. So that seems like it's about right. Thank you all for watching, peace.